Hey guys, what is going on? Deboki here once again. It is time for a Maple Story video. I am here on Baki Choi and I am 223. There is a lot of progress that happened in between the last video and this one. I'm just going to say it the Destiny update comes with some really huge events and rewards to kind of boost your character up. I don't think I've ever progressed as fast with a character before, but Destiny update comes with some huge gifts. I was very surprised. The amount of equips and node stones and symbols, it's a lot. It's a lot. So I do have my permanent CRA gear or the ones that I do need. And this was all done on live stream. So I unfortunately don't have like a highlights video for all the, the major events and I do apologize, but I'll go ahead and just try to tell you guys a little bit on what happened. I did take down Chaos Queen, which she wasn't too bad at all. Chaos Chicken as well. I do feel like Queen and Chicken are probably the easiest ones. And then Chaos Clown, which actually surprisingly wasn't too bad also. Usually I struggle with Clown the most, but Marksman's Burst was pretty insane. And I really enjoyed that while bossing in the, the Chaos Root Abyss. And then I did take down Seavel. I didn't need the weapon, but I just decided to try it out to see if I could close all four doors. And that was successful as well. So Baki Choi has already closed all four doors of Chaos Root Abyss. I did also manage to duo Lotus and Damien. I decided to go in as kind of like a struggle party. So my friend Carton and I, we went in Let's and go. duo Lotus and Damien. Hey. So both of them are no, taken down, which then got me the first two pieces of my Abso gear. Um, so I got the Abso shoulders as well as the Abso gloves. And I did cube these up uh, quite a bit, as well as actually every item I cubed up a lot. I did a lot of cubing, and the cubing luck has been pretty crazy. After getting my damage to a certain point, I did transfer over and start trying to get drop gear on my accessories, so I've been trying to cube for that, and that's been really cool, trying to just see if I can now increase my meso rates while I'm farming and training. The Abso gear turned out really pretty. Abso gear ended up being 17% dex on the shoulders, and the glove is 10% critical damage and 10% dex, which those are very juicy items. I would probably say the emblem is my like favorite one so far to 21% attack. So I'm still on the hunt for a few pieces of gear though. I'm still on the hunt for a belt, shoes, and cape. Secondary, I am trying to work for Princess Snow. So I just have this at kind of a placeholder at the moment with attack plus 9%, dex plus 6. Currently my stats are sitting at 3.1 mil range peaking and 11k stat decks. So that's a little update on Baki Choi 223. And I felt like I really speed ran through the the first half of the progression that usually takes me like a good month or a month and a half to get through. And I think it's just Maple Story wanting us to kind of hit the later game content, which is very interesting, this kind of speed run play style, but I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I feel like I'm like rushing almost in my mind like I'm speeding through a lot of the big achievements that I like really kind of, I guess, valued. But then again, I'm just also adapting to the new play style and I don't want to hold myself back too. like, I don't want to force myself to take my time when I do want to push for some things because ultimately it's just you want to have fun. So uh, any any way that you can enjoy yourself. And I've been really enjoying Maple Story right now. Mesos, Mesos has been pretty good. Just been doing weekly bosses. And that's been pumping in so much income. Like being able to do two of my characters, Gentle Straws and Fresh Bulls, weekly bosses, a week probably gets me about, I would say close to three bill. And then now Baki Choi is getting there. So today I'm actually going to do like a boss rush toss video. I'm going to try to push all the hard bosses and see how much mesos that I can make currently right now at 223 with my stats. So there's going to be some bosses that I know I can solo and then some that I have not attempted yet, but we'll start with the ones that we can and that's going to be Root Abyss. So I'll go in and just like show you guys Baki Choi's progression so far. Hopefully I don't fail too badly. All right, we do have a few buff freezers, so that's good. Buff myself up as best as I can. It's just been so much fun, guys, grinding and training away. And Marksman just feels so good bossing. I just, I love Marksman's bossing style. So here we are, Queen. What I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to place a teleporter on the left side. This has just been so helpful, this teleport skill. Being able to move side to side from the boss is just, it's incredible. So we're going to go ahead and put that there. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit ready. 
going to start activating my burst. So now I'm just going to teleport right there. And I'm going to go ahead and activate the rest of my burst. And then we go. And I think the anchor skill also, it works as like a puppet. So if I put down the anchor skill here, she'll get aggro to it, which is really nice. Um, oh, she looks like she's even like aggroing to my teleport over there. But yeah, look at that, guys. The damage is pretty insane right now. Burst is still going on. So the way marksmen work is we have almost two phases of bursts. We have the initial burst with the repeating cartridge and split shot, which repeating cartridge just gives us how many? Oh, okay. We're, we're safe. We're safe. So it gives us eight shots on the repeating cartridge. And then look at that. Boom. She was sucking. I teleport right to the booty. And then right after we finish up with the repeating cartridge with those eight shots, our split shots, the one that's kind of going off right now, is still procking. So our burst is up for about 50% of the time. And there she goes down. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Clown still makes me nervous. So we're just going to still get him to where we need him to be. Which I think like right here is pretty good. So next hat change, I'm going to go ahead and just bind. I, dude, I really don't need to bind actually, but... Might as well. My burst is going, please be blue, please be blue. Blue, perfect. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bind. And we're just going to do our full burst here. Dude. That was three repeating cartridge shots. And that was a bit overkill. I don't think I actually needed to bind or anything like that. But, man. Alright, let's go. Baki Choi. Chaos Chicken. Not bad. Just got to dance with him. I think that's just the biggest part. I frame also for Marksman. Which is pretty nice. You just kind of go first person shooter mode and really gets you out of a pinch if you need to. Oh, that was tough. That was tough. I, I should have iframed there. That was an iframing moment. And now he's going to go into fly mode. And there we go. So Seavel, I'll probably try to utilize my iframe a bit more. I tend to get greedy sometimes in this boss fight. All right, bind is up now also. So I think when all my bursts are up, I'm going to go ahead and bind. Bursts are up. So I'm going to start activating the bursts. Bursts are activated. I'm going to go ahead and bind right here. And let's just see how we do. All right. Wasn't crazy amount of damage, but we got there. This is always a good time. Huge uh, damage phase right here. The snot is probably like the best time to do damage. Oh, I got lucky. I got lucky that wasn't a full rise. Oh my gosh. All right, we're still in good positioning. Don't get too greedy with the shots here. We're going to jump in, close the gap a little bit. I think I'm going to use the iframe here. Yeah, I didn't really feel comfortable about that. So we're going to sit in our iframe. Oh, we're going to get out of it because I think he's breathing now. Oh, did we get him? Nice! Oh, I lost track of the health bar. Cool. Hey, Deathless run, let's go. Awesome. I think that was my first Deathless Seville run with Marksman. So, next up on the list is going to be Chaos Zakum. Just gotta still be careful of these hands. The hitboxes get a little strange sometimes. <laughs> okay, wait for the 1-1 to go away and then we'll start bursting. Almost. All right, now we go. Burst. Burst, 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 Bucky Toy. Bursting! Big shots. Let's go. Oh my gosh. That's what I like to see. And we might be able to skip the move phase. Oh, we did. We stun locked Zach. Yeah, after they changed up Hilla, she became a lot easier. I would like to just wait for my burst if I could. It's like 30 seconds. Should I? Nah, let's just go in. All right, no burst, no burst. We'll just, this is a little cocky, but it's okay. We'll try it out. Hopefully it doesn't punish us. Okay, so she starts to regen now. Usually we burst past this phase. I think we're gonna be okay. Oh yeah, 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 we're doing fine. All right, beautiful. Nice. I'm noticing a lot more goodies are dropping also just due to my drop rate increase. This is the first time bossing with all this drop rate right now and it's, it's pretty cool. A lot of goodies. Chaos Pink Bean. This one I soloed a bit ago as well. Get our burst up and going. And we go. There it is. Just got to be careful of damage reflect because we'll just kill ourselves. <laughs> Last little phase of the bean. Pretty soon here. And Chaos Pink Bean down. Next boss, Magnus, Hard Magnus. 
Uh, is Cygnus available? It was kind of glitched earlier. Let's see if I can go into Cygnus. Wait, I am in Cygnus. So this is my first time taking down normal Cygnus, which I'm going to go ahead and iframe here. Shoot all the shots. Continue to burst. Yeah, I, oh, we definitely got the damage. <laughs> we definitely have the damage in here. Oh, my, my. All right. Cygnus down. I think that's all like the easier bosses. So now I want to get start hitting the ones that I've been struggling with. Hard Magnus. This one. This one. I'm going to warn you guys. It's not going to be pretty in here. But let's go and give it a shot. I've done this once before. And I, I only ended with one life left. I'm going to probably try to just buy time for my burst and bind. I really don't like this. I'm dead. I'm already dead. Okay, that's all good. That's all good. That's all good. Let's move him out to the right a little bit more if we can. If he wants to come over here. Here he comes. Nice. We got to get him down a bit more before we can bind. I mean, maybe I can just burst. I feel like it's going to take me a while to get there. I'm going to have to iframe. Oh, no, no. I'm okay. I'm okay. All right. I'm going to pop my burst actually, but not my bind yet. So I'm just going to try to burst him down a bit. I want to iframe this. Nope. My iframe was apparently on cooldown. Continue to burst. Still got the burst going, so that's good. Whoa, he shoots me into that. Do I have my iframe? I do not. I might be dead here also. Iframe? Okay. I have my iframe, but I'm gonna try to get him to come back here. I'm gonna try to buy a little bit of time. I don't have that much time though. All right, he's back, he's back, good. Oh my gosh. So now I gotta just survive for 45 seconds, I think. Which, that's not happening here. Oh, okay, my buff freezers are out too. All right, let's just chill then. Think I should be okay? As long as I can get a good bind and burst happening, I think I should be fine. Spawn me in. Let's go and just activate what we need. I'm gonna get out of this corner though. Okay, so it is up. I'm gonna pop my burst now. Binding. And it is now or never. Um, okay, not enough. Not enough damage. Burst is still going. Nice. Okay. Okay. That was a lot better than my previous runs. Oh, that was a lot better. I don't like ever getting like full buff freezers going into Magnus because I just, I feel like it's such a waste of Meso, but. I probably should, should start getting that. Let me go into Princess Snow. Just a little bit annoying getting to Princess Snow. There's like a built-in pre-quest here every time you need to do this boss. Like this whale, this whale kind of sucks. So what's really nice about Marksman or Bowmasters because we have this teleport skill. So now what we can do is we can just keep teleporting back to the whale every time she teleports us away, which... <laughs> is pretty good. I feel like a lot of classes has their own like cheese mechanic they can do to this whale. So if you never fought the whale before Princess Snow, pretty much why people really dislike this this boss here is because you can there's a damage cap on it. If you notice, I can only do 10 damage to the whale. So that means you have to be able to do a lot of lines to the whale. But I think it's like every two seconds after you hit the whale, she'll teleport you to a random spot in the map, which is very frustrating for characters that like need to climb back up or jump back up to this platform. Of course though, just kind of lack of lines a little bit. We, we're not purely built for line story. I think classes that have a lot of summons, they do really well with this boss. All right, there we go. And that's kind of how we cheese the whale. All right, now Princess Snow fight. Finally, we're here. Hello, beautiful. Oh, I need to put on my drop rate though, because I do want to try to get more emblems this run. I'll just remember to try to get my drop rate on a little bit later. Oh, we're in the cage. So when you're in the cage, you can actually just click the portal, get out, and you're good to go. This is actually a good place to change over to my drop gear. All right, she caged me again. I'm just going to click the portal and <laughs> exit. So that's a good kind of cheese mechanic. If you're struggling with that cage for Princess No, just click the portal and you can escape the cage right away. Very helpful. You know what I should have? I probably should have HS as well. Might as well, might as well. Let me go ahead and leave really quick again. I wanna put on HS just to increase the drop rate some more. All right, and we go. Nice, good burst. Ooh, okay. Let's see, how many emblems did we get this time? Wow, so with all my drop gear, I received seven 
emblems. And last time without the drop gear, I got four. So that was big. Now, now I just need to wait one more week and then I can get the, the secondary. I don't think I've ever completed Mitsushide on Baki Choi. So this might be my first attempt. So I'm going to probably burst 50% on last phase. Okay, my burst is up. Let's go and pop the bursts. All right, almost, almost. First phase, almost done. Okay, first phase, done. Now second phase kind of gets a little crazy. Now, I know he just starts jumping and teleporting all over the place. The blue clones will kill you. All right, this part, we just got to pray. Yeah, he's just going to be swiping down on us quite a bit here. All right, I'm gonna try to use my movement skill to get across the map. Well, I guess in a minute we can bind and burst. We are, oh, I'm dead here. Yeah, all my bursts are online. Let's go ahead and start popping. And we're gonna bind, bound, and burst. We should be able to get him here. Oh yeah, I think we got him. Oh, wait, yes, okay, we got him. <laughs> I was getting a little concerned. Next, I'm gonna try to push Lotus. This is gonna be the Lotus solo. Try to go in there a little bit more prepared. I'm gonna actually pop guild skills this time. Get a little more umph in there. Now Lotus and on the first phase with Marksman is actually pretty fun. You gotta teleport around the laser now, but you need to make sure your teleport's placed correctly. So I'm gonna place teleport down. I think in the center is probably the best place to put the teleport. Teleport easily, it doesn't matter what direction the laser is going and I'll show you in a second. So laser's here now and I'm gonna teleport just like that. And if the laser changes directions, I should be able to still have a decent time. The only thing you gotta be careful of, of course, are these bots. That's the big thing. I'm gonna put down my anchor here, summon the bird just to help out with that a little bit more. Okay, is my teleport about to run out? I think my teleport's actually lasting. So now when it switches, like the, the direction, because the teleport's in the middle, we can still handle the like dodging the lasers pretty well, just like that. A little bit of a tight squeeze in here. Oh, oh, it's speeding up. Wait, slowing down, speeding up. I can barely get a hit in. It's just moving so fast right now. I think we're good. First phase down. Oh man. All right, it, it was a bit challenging, but that's, uh, that's some pretty good progress. Let's be careful with this part now. And I'm going to bind. And we'll try to burst it up here as best we can. All right, this is going to be a challenging fight. Yeah, this this one's going to take a little bit. You know, I don't know if I'm going to even have enough time. Oh, wait. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Second phase done. I got to remember, I do have my iframe. I do have my iframe. Oh, no. I went to iframe here and I canceled my iframe. I cannot believe I just did that. I iframed and then I canceled it. I'm so, I'm so done zoed. I'm so done zoed. Oh my gosh, I goofed up. Whenever I click right click in the iframe, it cancels it out. Oh no, 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 I died. Oh, that's really not good. Wait, there's a train here. Oh, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Two lives. I think we should be okay. I just gotta keep playing smart. There's just gonna be a lot more stuff happening. <gasps> One life left. Oh my gosh. So it's not the time, it's the lives now that I'm fighting for. I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh man. I got stunned into the purple shot. Oh, that sucks. Still a little bit too hard to solo. But almost there, almost there. So let's see how much Meso's Baki Choi can make. We're gonna sell all of our crystals. They are worth a lot more right now. And I think I just made 958 mil. Oh my goodness. So almost a bill, bill of Meso's just for bossing here on Baki Choi. That is pretty wonderful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for this video. I hope you all did enjoy and I know the progression of Baki Choi, the marksman, is going very fast right now. The end game goal for Baki Choi is still 250, but that might take months. I don't know, maybe next year. We'll see when 250 actually gets to get hit here. I will do probably most of my progression on live stream. So if you guys want to catch the progression happen, definitely follow me on Twitch. I will do maybe like little update videos here and there or some totem talks with Baki Choi, but the full progression will happen probably on Twitch. I'll try to do some cubing here as well um, once I start to get some more items that I do want to cube. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all are doing well. Much love, one love. This has been Naboki, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.